Hey Max, doesn't it look awesome? Ian, our ambitions were really to take the great solid foundations of the current Everest and take it to a whole new place. So we listened to the customer feedback and we've designed improvements from end to end. Our customers told us they wanted a tough, rugged and capable looking exterior combined with a sanctuary of a luxury car on the inside. And our customers don't want to compromise. So we had to set the bar really high. We took the insights, feedback and comments from our customers, combined that with our own creativity and decades of SUV design, and we've created this vehicle that we believe will surpass our customers' expectations. OK, Max, let's go and look at the exterior design. Customers told us that they wanted a much more capable looking exterior design that really expressed the ability and capability of the chassis underneath. And this was a great challenge for our design team. And we designed a much more rugged looking exterior. And when you look at the new Everest, you know you're dealing with an adventure ready machine. Yeah, that's right, Max. I think the work we've done underneath the vehicle, you know, we've extended the wheelbase by 50 millimetres and the track by 50 millimetres. And this gives us two things. One is better on-road control but also better off-road articulation. That's right. And what that allowed my team to do was really play up this increased capable stance and emphasise the larger wheels and tyres. And you can see we've done that using this beautiful surfacing through here, this swelling of the wheel arches, this line that extends from front to rear, really emphasising the length of the vehicle. And then on the rear of the vehicle, again, we've got these sort of nice swelling, sort of emphasising this new proportion which is given to us by the increased track. The other thing we've done is we've increased the angle of the rear glass and then the, the pillar back here as well. Increased the size of the rear window here to give a little bit more light into the third row and also emphasise the increased luggage capacity. On the rear of the vehicle, again, to emphasise the width, and the more capable stance and proportion, we've got this beautiful integrated full width LED tail lamp graphic. And it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, lighting was such a key part of the design, wasn't it, Max? Yeah, it absolutely was, Ian. If we go to the front of the vehicle, you can see we've got these Ford Design DNA C-clamp graphic on the front, uh, integrated with a full width uh, grill bar and very sophisticated yet very strong front fascia styling. Yeah, I mean, look, the lamps look great. And it isn't just about how they look, it's also about how they function. So they make a great design statement, but they really serve a need for our customers. They've got better visibility, better control, and also gives people better confidence at night. The Matrix LED headlamps, available on the titanium and platinum models, really highlight the advances in lighting technology. With dynamic bending light, glare-free high beams, and speed-dependent lighting, they adjust as you drive to maximise your visibility on the road. And that gives you greater confidence when driving at night. And the confidence begins even before you get in the vehicle. Depending on the market, we have available zone lighting, which allows you to see all around the vehicle in the dark, whether it's a parking space or whether you're setting up camp at night. I think the, the light's coming from, you know, the headlamps and the puddle lamps under the mirrors, but it really allows you to have that lighting when you need it. I mean, for example, a couple of nights ago, I was out camping with a family and really having those lights and the 360 feature, which is unique to this segment, offers you the ability to set up your camp at night. It's such a great feature and it can be controlled via the touchscreen or through your Ford Pass app on your mobile phone. Speaking of longer trips, our customers also told us that they wanted a better way to handle their cargo. So we designed two unique roof rails, a flush fit and also a standoff roof rail system. Now that's right, Max, and we've added much more utility to the roof rails on this next gen Everest. You can have up to 100 kilograms of dynamic load or up to 350 kilograms of static load. So you can carry more than what you need. Anything from kayaks to bikes to off-road equipment or even roof tents, really it's set up for adventure. We'll have a range of different variants of models available, depending on the market, to meet the needs of our customers. And they all come with distinctive new features, colours and wheel finish options giving this next generation Everest family their own head turning looks and capability that stands out from everything that came before. Max, I know I shouldn't have favourites, but I do, and it's the Sport. It's the most rugged and aggressive trim, designed to deliver better off-road performance and comfort. And the Titanium blends style with comfort, 
with a range of new features such as the available matrix LED lighting. And then at the pinnacle of the Everest range is the Platinum. And it's a new grade for Everest with top of the line interior finishes. Along the exterior, Platinum features standoff roof rails, the larger 21 inch wheels, ready to challenge the outdoors and off-road. Going off-road means building on the already great all-terrain performance of Everest. So we've enhanced features like the terrain management system, so both expert off-roaders and first-time adventurers have the confidence to take their experience further. If you like off-roading Max like me, there is a choice of drivetrains. These include the advanced four-wheel drive system, which uses an all-new, electronically controlled, two-speed transfer case. This makes sure power gets to the wheels that you need it, when you need it. And combined with the electronic locking rear differential, these features help you get additional traction when you need it. And it's a smoother ride, isn't it? Absolutely. That's thanks to the combination of suspension technology that is unique in this segment. The Wattslink rear suspension rides on coil springs, which means better control over body movement. And what this really means to the customer is the car feels flatter in the corners. You don't get as much body roll. And that gives our customers a more car-like experience, more like a premium SUV, while still having wheel articulation needed for off-roading. And that's really the point of these improvements and the all-new interior design. Customers will arrive at their destination feeling more rested, even after the longest or roughest journeys. Yeah, exactly, Max. We tested for hundreds of thousands of kilometres, not just to see how the vehicles would perform, but to see how you'd feel as a passenger after an off-road adventure or a long family drive. Ian, what about under the hood? This generation has more choices than ever before. Now, it certainly does, Max. For the first time, Ford is offering the three-litre turbocharged V6 diesel. We understand our customers also have different needs and different ways of using their vehicles. So as with Everest today, the single turbo and bi-turbo diesels are also available. And for those markets who need a gasoline variant, there is also the 2.3 EcoBoost. Depending on model, a range of transmissions will also be available. And that includes the six-speed automatic transmission, as well as Ford's efficient 10-speed select shift automatic. And what inspired the addition of the V6? Well, really, as a result of customer feedback, our customers said they wanted more power for effortless performance, particularly when towing a full-size trailer. And matched with the suspension upgrades, we've been able to improve the maximum brake turn capacity of the V6 to 3.5 tonnes. A fantastic upgrade. Ian, safety is our number one priority, and we know Everest customers feel the same way. That's right, Max. Depending on the market, Everest will offer a blind spot information system with trailer coverage. Everest is also to offer an integrated electric trailer brake controller. And we've also added to the already impressive list of active safety features, including lane keep system with road edge detection, intelligent adaptive cruise control with lane centering, and active park assist for when you don't want to do it yourself. You simply hold down the park aid button and the Everest parks for you. These build on the active safety features such as pre-collision assist with intersection assist, which identifies when turning and if you don't take corrective action will apply your brakes automatically. And there's also evasive steer assist. When you're backing up, Everest can alert you to cross traffic or obstacles, applying the brakes if needed through reverse brake assist. And on the interior, we had to consider how to integrate some of these latest passive safety improvements. Every seating position comes with an advanced seatbelt system and an additional airbag system as needed. And in a first for Everest, up to nine airbags are now available, including an airbag in between the front passengers, giving extra protection from side impacts. You want to feel safe inside your vehicle, and you also want to feel comfortable. With the next generation Everest, we've worked hard to make sure you can do both. So Max, Everest customers love the rugged exterior of the vehicle, but inside's a different matter. They want a place of sanctuary. That's right, Ian. And that's why we designed the interior to be a sophisticated space with the style, comfort, premium materials and technology you'd expect to find in a luxury vehicle. We created a coast-to-coast -coast instrument panel, which makes the interior feel wider. And the soft-wrapped elements flow into the door top roll so passengers can rest their elbows in comfort. In fact, this new Everest is significantly upgraded from a soft trim perspective. We really focused on making it super comfortable for those longer journeys.
And the team spent so much time engineering the product to be so quiet. So on those long journeys, you can talk to your friends and family without having all those noises coming through into the cabin. In fact, the team spent a lot of time working on the mirrors, the door seals, even movements from the brake components to ensure we have that quieter experience when we're driving. That's right. The third row has also been redesigned with more shoulder room, visibility and functional storage. And we've made it easier to get in and out. This was a particular concern for some of the customers we spoke to. So we tested our design changes by taking physical prototypes back to them to make sure that we'd solved their concerns. But comfort and style aren't the only high-end features inside the new Everest. This fully networked vehicle is underpinned by technology that enables both a better in-car experience and also a better ownership experience. It's all about making it easier and more convenient for our customers, whether that's by controlling certain elements of your vehicle through your smartphone, scheduling maintenance, or finding the next petrol station. And the driver's seat is command central with a heap of intuitive technology at your fingertips. And the first thing you notice is this center screen. It's a high resolution portrait 10.1 or 12 inch touchscreen. And this acts as your gateway to all the benefits of Ford's latest SYNC 4 system for simple, intuitive access to those drive modes, as well as navigation, phone, climate, and entertainment controls. And paired with that great screen, there's also a fully digital feature-rich instrument cluster available in either eight or 12 inch version, depending on the trim level. This instrument cluster can be configured in different layouts based on Everest selectable drive modes and other driver preferences. And to meet the demands of the modern family, there are now charging ports in every row. And the embedded modem allows connectivity on the go when linked with the Ford Pass app. And depending on the market, Ford Pass will allow you to receive notifications when it's time for you to come in for a service, connect with your dealer, or even start your vehicle remotely. It's all part of Ford's commitment to an outstanding ownership experience. Yeah, and uh, that feature of remote starting is so, so good. I was down at the beach yesterday with my family. It was hot, and what I decided to do was start the vehicle to get the air conditioning running, so when we got to the car, it was lovely and cool. What a feature. Great feature. You know, we've really observed and listened to customers, understanding how they use their vehicle and how they load things into the back of it as well. And it's been one of the key focuses of the next generation Everest to actually utilize that space and make it more functional for our customers. I mean, for me, case in point is the lift gate. You know, if you can see what we've actually done here, not only we've we got the great lamps on the back, which look awesome, but actually what we've done is we've increased um, the usability of the lift gate, much more head clearance. We've redesigned the entire sheet metal at the rear, the hinges and how they operate the lift gate, the speed in which it opens, and also we've still got the great feature of the foot swipe to actually open it if you've got things in your hands. We've also redesigned the rear compartment and we've given more space for luggage, such as prams, recreational equipment, or even groceries. And you can see when the second and third row are folded down, we've created this flat load floor that comes in. So it allows you to load you know, longer items all the way through. And one customer in particular told us a story about how he really loved his Everest, but when he had groceries in the back and he opened the tailgate, particularly if he was on an incline, things would roll out of the back of the vehicle. So we designed this little ledge here at the back of the cargo space, which we call the apple catcher. Yeah, what a great feature.